Today, I want to look at the new OpenAI Text DaVinci 3 update. Specifically, I want to show you how now we can use context and get prompts without even training the AI. Let's get started writing a love poem to my girlfriend of 13 years. Her name is Michelle, and it's going to be able to pick up the context of a long relationship. Her name's Michelle, as well as probably rhyme. My dearest Michelle, your beauty is the light of my life. Your grace and presence makes me feel so alive. To have you by my side these past 13 years is a gift I will never take for granted through all our years. The context of it, it could not do this six months ago. It couldn't do it six weeks ago. So the fact that we're already here, this is a big update. And that's really just the start of it. We can write a rap song in the style of M. Let's even give it context, like a subject matter, like dominating the rap game for 25 plus years. Y'all ain't ready for the lyrical powerhouse I possess. I'm about to show you some skills that no one else can repress. 25 years of dominating this rap game, you can tell, still got bars hotter than a jalapeno, but never fell. So here we go. We've got a verse. We got a chorus, another verse. It's not quite Eminem, but the context is there and it's doing what I'm asking it to do. Let's say you want to learn something and grasp a concept, Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs is a psychological theory proposed by Abraham Maslow in 1943. And right there we see that via Wikipedia that is correct. It's often portrayed as a pyramid with the largest and most fundamental levels of need at the bottom and the need for self-actualization and transcendence at the top. The theory states that people are motivated to fulfill basic needs before moving on to higher levels. Five layers of Maslow's needs are psychological safety, love, being, esteem, and self-actualization. So most of these results, except for this one that says there's seven needs, most of the results show that there are in fact five needs and that it's accurate. So this is really impressive and it feels far more factual than prior versions of DaVinci. I'm going to say write some code, both HTML, CSS for a button for my website, make it stylish and in my brand colors of teal and purple. So I'm just going to paste that both in there and we'll see that is, I don't know if that's 100% teal or more of a greenish teal, but you could then go in and change whatever code you wanted. Now let's say we wanted to write an affirmation prayer in the style of Joseph Murphy about wealth. Dear God, I thank you for the abundance of wealth that is available to me. I know that you have blessed me with all the resources needed to achieve financial success and abundance. I'm grateful for your divine guidance and protection as I strive to increase my wealth, release any fear or limiting beliefs about money, and embrace a spirit of generosity. That's a pretty good prayer right there. What if I wanted to write a bio for my Instagram? I could say my name's Scott and I like coffee and meditating. And I can also instruct it to use emojis, no more than 150 characters. Scott here, fueled by coffee and meditating, always learning and growing in life, ready to take on the world. This is really good. And obviously you can use this now to write bios rather quickly. What about explaining like the theory of evolution in simple terms, like I'm a five-year-old. The theory of evolution is like a big family tree. All the animals on our planet are related, just like people in a family. Animals change over time as they adapt to their environment and pass these changes down to their kids, just like people can have inherited traits from their parents. Maybe I want to write a cold outreach email prospecting for clients for my digital business card service. Give it my name and my business name. My name is Scott and I'm the founder of Rocket Stripe, a digital business card service. We help business professionals create digital business cards. We make it easy for you to create a custom card with logos, branding, blah, blah, blah. Wanted to reach out because you might be interested. Sounds like something you're interested in. Love to hop on a call. Thanks for your time. For a quick email to your boss, Jimothy, requesting time off, I'm writing to request permission to take a day off from work on Monday, January 13th. I have an important family matter that I need your attention to, which will require my presence. I understand that this is short notice. Be more than willing to make up the time. Thanks for understanding and consideration. Again, very quick email. All we did was a simple prompt instruction. Maybe a client is not paying your invoice. Dear Jackifer, this is a friendly reminder that we have yet to receive payment for your latest invoice. We would appreciate it if you could please make the payment as soon as possible in order to keep our records current and avoid any additional charges or fees. That's very good. I didn't have to write it. I didn't have to worry about it. Let's see if it'll give us a Twitter thread. Here's the thread. Have you ever wanted to create AI generated image prompts? It can be a great way to get creative ideas for your next project or exercise. Here's how. And then we would go to tweet number two. 
Start by collecting some images that you'd like to use for training data. For example, if you're creating a prompt based on animals, collect images of different animals. Once you have your images, you'll need to label them so the AI knows what it's looking for, such as dog in the park, cat in the garden, now it's time to feed the data into the AI model. This is where the fun starts. It's gonna generate new images, definitely a decent start. Now I'm gonna change that to write good image prompts for Dolly 2. For Dolly 2, the thread is creating good image prompts for Dolly 2, an AI system that can generate images from text descriptions is an important part of teaching the AI to produce accurate results. To construct a good prompt, it's important to use clear and descriptive language. Avoid using words that could be interpreted in multiple ways. Use specific sentence structures and avoid complex sentences with many clauses. Keep your prompts focused and concise by avoiding unnecessary words or concepts. When providing a prompt, try to think outside the box. Instead of simply asking for an image of a dog, provide more detailed instructions, such as a dog wearing sunglasses, eating ice cream. And honestly, this one here is pretty funny. So I'm gonna wrap this up by asking the AI to help me close out the video. That's all we have for you today on the DaVinci Text 3 model. We hope that we've given you a better understanding of this amazing new product and how it can help your workflow become more efficient and productive. Until next time, thanks for watching. Goodbye.